Eagles training camp was buzzing today over an incredible one-hand grab by Jalen Rager. All the tweets and reports were coming out. They didn't unleash the footage, and they made us wait, but, man, it was worth the wait. Look at that one-hand grab by Jalen Rager, his second one-hand grab in back-to-back -back weeks, I may add. He has just got that dog in him. You can tell by the way he's barking now. He's not playing no games. He wants the ball, and he's demanding the ball, you know, and I think the more and more reps he gets in real action, the more aggressive he's going to get, and he's just going to keep coming down with these spectacular catches because he obviously has that in him. He just didn't show it in his rookie year. But look at him go up and just pluck that pigskin and just grip it with one hand, man. It's a beautiful grab, but I love this angle personally. Jalen is just, he's applying a lot more pressure this year to these DBs. And just look at this right here with this little hitch, hesitation, and he's already looking for that football. Bites him off with the left like a veteran, you know what I'm saying? So right here, slow motion, hesitation, quick zip. Already looking for the football, fights off the defender with his left hand, goes up top, plucks it with his right hand. It's just a beautiful catch. He got both feet in, in the end zone as well. Very, very impressive from Jalen. And that Jalen to Jalen connection is just going to get stronger in year two, and I can't wait for it. I really can't. As excited as I am to see Jalen Rager and Quez Watkins I'm even more excited to see this young man, Devontae Smith, a.k.a. the Slim Reaper, go against another team soon. It doesn't have to be preseason game two. It doesn't even have to be number three because, honestly, what I've seen from him and his razor-sharp route running, I mean, his route running is sharper than a samurai blade, man, and I just cannot wait to see him go against another team and if they want to hold him out and for the, all the preseason and just let him go crazy game one in Atlanta, I'm all, I'm all for it because, like I said, none of these stats are even going to matter anyways, and we know what he's capable of. So I don't know. How do you feel about Devontae playing in preseason? Do you think they should give him some run, or do you think they should sit him out and just keep that on pause until, you know, game one? I'm all here for it. I would like to know what you guys think. Because I don't think preseason is really that big of a deal for a player like Devontae. Um, I think seeing Jalen uh, Rager and Quez really step up, that's a beautiful thing. Because those are two players that I felt like really needed to have a productive offseason. One player who I've been pretty disappointed in this training camp has definitely been Travis Fulgham. You pretty much haven't heard anything from his name lately. You know, it's been relatively quiet. Actually, crickets. So we'll see if he bounces back this preseason game. Well, that's going to do it for today's Eagles Real Talk session. Thank you for joining me. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And I'd like to send a special shout out to all my new subscribers over the past 24 hours who have been showing a lot of support to the channel. Thank you very much. That's going to do it for me. I am Bri Wolf signing out. Fly Eagles fly and keep it real always. <laughs>